So now that I've already introduced you, um, I wanted to let you know why we're making bassoon reads. So bassoon players need reads <laughs> so you can play a eh? <laughs> and then what we need them for is actually to help us with their intonation and how we play either it's tonning or how your sound is or your pitch wise um this actually matters not just as a musician but as a bassoon player we don't have a real mouthpiece we have a vocal but we don't really have a mouthpiece so it's all of our reads and us um so your embouchure does matter However, it's not this piece. So for us, it's all about the read. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, this is a good thing and a bad thing. It's awesome because we actually can control our pitch a lot more. Um, but it's a bad thing because it actually does matter and they need to be perfect, even though there is set no such thing as a perfect read. <laughs> Um, so what we're going to do here, as a bassoon player, it's actually really vital to learn how to make bassoon reads. Not just so you have them, and that way it's not just an expense issue, but more of the lines of, I can make a read that fits my sounds. It helps. It helps having, um, obviously there's issues with instruments and other things, but having the read that fits you and the style you play, whether it's your tonguing style or how you lip the read, um, yeah, it actually does matter. And why make it difficult for yourself when you can just learn how to make them yourself? Um, also, learning how to make a read will help you understand how to play better because it'll help you develop. It is helpful and it's actually a really important tool developing to become a professional bassoon player. So I wanted to share what I learned over the summer and fall quarter of how to make a bassoon read. Now granted, everybody has their own ways of making a bassoon reads with the basics of you need cane, you need wire, you put them together and you wrap them and you're good. But everybody has their own different dimensions, different ways to wrap a reed, um, how long to soak or how long to leave it to dry. It really depends on who's teaching you or how you want to do it. And like I said, there's countless ways. I am going to show the way I was taught by my instructor, Lisa Knopfel, who I will reference many times in this video, probably. Um, so I just want to let you know if you ever hear me say Lisa, it's my instructor who taught me how to make reads. And yeah, and it seems to work for me. I've been playing on my reads. Yeah, I hope you enjoy and come on my adventure.